Hello, my friends. What's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio from my good pals up in Canada. I do believe Solid Gold FX. It's the Surfrider pedal. You heard it on all the guitar parts and the baritone guitar on that track at the beginning of the video. This is a really, really cool spring reverb pedal that sounds remarkably remark, remarkably accurate. It's got like that real spring tank kind of sound with all the boing and kind of like imperfections of a real spring reverb. Lots of vibe. And speaking of vibe, it's not just a reverb. It's got a pitch warble kind of vibrato effect in it as well. That's really, really cool. I used it on most of the guitar parts as well as the reverb function on that track. Now they've had a few different versions of this pedal out before. Most of them were like in a bigger pedal housing and it had some different features. I think one of them had like a boost in it. But anyways, this one, you basically got a wider selection of tones than I think any of the versions before. And it's in a smaller pedal housing, kind of a standard size pedal housing. So the controls on it, you've got a decay control here, a level control that's mix basically, swell control and a body control. These two bottom controls also serve as speed and depth for the vibrato function. Some more on that in just a little bit. Then you've got a three-way switch right here that lets you select a few different tank settings and it basically just kind of switches up the tone of the reverb. So for all the sounds in the video, I'm actually running in front of the Tone King Imperial Mark II plugin from Neural DSP. It just sounded perfect for this. I was thinking like, yeah, 112 kind of American style combo. Let's give that a try. And this pedal sounded awesome running right into my interface into that amplifier plugin. Not using any other effects. There's no other reverb or delay or any of that stuff. It's just a bone dry amp sound and all the, you know, luscious goodness is coming from this pedal. So I want to solo some of those parts outside of the mix now from the song at the beginning. So you can clearly hear those. And then I'm also going to play a little more through the pedal and turn the knobs. On the first guitar part in the song at the beginning of the video, uh, I was using kind of a medium vibrato effect. You know, I tried to use quite a bit of reverb in all these examples, and it, it worked in this kind of, you know, medium slow tempo, sort of vibey, surfy tune that I came up with, I think. <laughs> second little guitar part I went for a little bit shorter reverb dried it up just a little bit so as to make the lead part pop through a little more and then I used a faster setting as far as the vibrato goes On the baritone solo, which I had a lot of fun, I love that thing, I love my Dan Electro baritone, it's so cool, um, I turned off the vibrato effect altogether, so this is just like lots of reverb with lots of boing and kind of spanky reverb sound, let's check it out. <laughs> I like it. So let's take a look at the controls on the Surfrider. So to turn on and off the reverb, one button push. Okay, if you want to turn on the warble effect, after the reverb's already on, you're going to do a long push. Okay, just for a couple seconds. And you're going to notice the LED starts blinking, and that means you now got that warbly vibrato tremolo effect. And the pedal is going to store the current state that it's in when you turn it off. So if you've got that warble effect on, 
and you bypass it and you turn the pedal back on it's going to be on again so if you don't want it on again like when you bypass it because when you turn it back on you just want reverb you just have to remember to do another long push to turn off that tremolo effect. It's not complex, it's easy in practice and it works really well. Okay, so let's check out some of the different tank settings. So just some slightly different variations there. The level control is your mix control, okay? And it's gonna be pretty interactive with both the dwell and the decay controls. Okay, decay is going to be the length of the reverb, but the dwell also sort of affects the length of reverb. It kind of affects the brightness of the reverb to my ears, really. And so it's all just kind of interactive. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you can hear how the dwell brighter darker and kind of shorter when you turn it all the way down and you know sort of more apparent reverb when it's up just brighter more in your face and then darker warmer when it's down a little more subtle in the lower positions okay and the decay So there's lots of options there to get smaller spring sounds, you know, bigger, brighter spring sounds, or, you know, really long, tailed out, dark reverb sounds as well. Okay, that's a pretty long reverb, but it really dark. Okay, and then you got another control here labeled body, and what that does is basically kind of fills in the reverb. It sounds like bass, really. It just fills in, makes it kind of thicker and warmer. So let's listen to that. Right, so once again, another option to kind of fill out the reverb, make it thicker and warmer. And if you want to adjust the speed and the depth of the warble, you hold down the switch, and while you're holding it, you can turn these bottom two knobs, and these two knobs become secondary functions, speed and depth. And there you have it. Thanks for watching my video on the Surfrider from Solid Gold FX. Great sounding spring reverb, super accurate. I mean, you would think there's a real Fender spring tank somewhere in the chain, wouldn't you? It just sounds really, really great. Uh, and with the added bonus of that really cool warbly vibrato effect. You can check it out further at the link in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to more info about the pedal. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. You can hit the little bell beside the subscribe, you'll get an alert when I put out new videos. Thanks you guys, I'm Pete Thorne. Take care, over and out.